Hi everyone, this is Chicho. As always, welcome to my channel. Now, what I wanted to do is uh, give you guys a little heads up that uh, I'm going to be taking um, a short break uh, for a couple of weeks. We're in mid-February right now, and uh, I'll probably be back at the beginning of March. And um, basically, what I do, if you've uh, if you've been following my work online for a while, you'll know that I refer to these uh, breaks. They may be short, they may be long. This is sort of a shorter one. Uh, I refer to these breaks as Bill Hicks breaks because uh, uh, what I end up doing, I sort of end up watching a lot of Bill Hicks and reading some of the stuff that he's done. I sort of organize things from my end, uh, take a look at what I need to get done and uh, go about sort of uh, grounding myself or preparing myself for my next phase of whatever project it is that I'm working on. And this is one of the projects that I'm working on, right? Um, so we'll definitely be back in a couple of weeks, beginning of March. As, um, as for who Bill Hicks is, um, just in case you don't know who he is, his profession was basically, uh, was a stand-up comedian, but he, he was, um, people consider him to be much more than that. And I'm one of those people. Okay, he was, uh, I consider him to be one of my greatest teacher, uh, teachers that I remember cr ever come across in my life, right? Um, and uh, basically just uh, through his writings and through his stand-up, um, you know, I never interacted with him. Was, uh, uh, he passed away uh, in 1994, I believe. Um, and he was active in there, you know, he was active for a long time. He, he you know... He was on David Letterman like 11 times and the 12th time they censored him or the 11th time they censored him because, you know, corporate media, right? And stuff like this. Uh, but basically, let me give you um, sort of a lowdown on who Bill Hicks is. And I'll link to um, an article I put together because every now and then um, throughout my um, presence online, I do end up taking Bill Hicks breaks, and every time I do this, I sort of make a little post uh, on my site mentioning that, you know, announcing that I'm taking a Bill Hicks break. So I'll provide a link to the last Bill Hicks break that I took, and I believe that was in 2013 or so, okay? And there is, um, you know, a couple of videos, two or three videos on that, on that post. And, um, you know, I have a little write-up introducing who Bill Hicks is. And uh, what I want to do is sort of read you um, a couple of things that I, um, I posted on that, um, on, that, uh, on that post on my site, okay, on my blog. And on that post, there's also a really good article that I came across from the Irish Times that was written in 1997. And I, um, I've linked to it. To archive, I think it's not online on the original site anymore, but uh, there's a link to it to the archive archive.org, and I've you know cut and pasted it on that blog as well, so you can read up that write up. Okay, uh, but basically, um, let me read you the title and the first two intro paragraphs that I wrote on that post, and I'm going to read you some quotes from Bill Hicks, which should give you an idea of who Bill Hicks is. Okay, uh -huh. so the last post uh, I made, I titled it. Taking a Bill Hicks break, what it means to be free. Okay. Um, every now and then, I take a little Bill Hicks break to remind myself of what it means to be free. It's that time again. Just to give you an introduction, one of my personal enlightening moments from Hicks came when I first heard him ask why there was never any positive drug stories on the news. If the news were truly impartial, then there would be, there would have have to be positive stories, but there never is. This took me weeks to digest. Okay. And really, when I first heard that, I sort of brushed it off. And this was years ago, right? Years ago before it became prevalent uh, how information is controlled. I mean, it was obvious back then to those who really looked into it and this is a time before the age of the internet right so our sources of information were very limited okay so it took me a while to digest this uh, when i first heard that and let me read you the quote that got me thinking about this okay exposed me to this and it's from bill hicks uh sane man that he did in 1989 okay Quote, you know what's wild? 
You never see a positive drug story on the news, do you? Have you ever seen one? Isn't that weird? Don't you think that's strange? I mean, the news is supposed to be objective. Isn't it supposed to be the news? But every drug story is negative. Well, hold it. I've had some killer times on drugs. I'm not promoting it, but I'm not denying it. Let's hear and let's hear the whole fucking story. That's from Bill Hicks, Sane Man, 1989. Now, anybody that's looked into this, you'll know that much of our civilization, our culture, technology, biology, uh, much of who we are can be accredited to people experimenting with alternate consciousness I guess okay from you know Carl Sagan to Francis Crick to um, Steve Jobs to to much of recent history and all of human history okay and uh, Bill Hicks uh, usually with that little routine that he does questioning the news why it's not impartial why there aren't any positive drug stories on the news okay he usually follows that up with a little a little short little blip about what a positive news story could be okay now quoting again bill hicks today a young man on acid realized that all matter is merely energy condensed to a slow vibration that we are all one consciousness experiencing itself subjectively there is no such thing as death. Life is only a dream. And we are all the imaginations of ourselves. Here's Tom with the weather. Now, Bill Hicks has a lot of content online. And if you've never been exposed to him, I highly recommend you check him out. Really. He would have been, he would have thrived in this age of information, age of technology, right? What I'd like to do is uh, end with uh, the sort of routine that Bill Hicks usually ended his act with, okay? And if you're a Bill Hicks follower, you'll know what this is. And if you're not, and if you've never seen Bill Hicks, you probably wanna hear these words from him, okay? But I'll read them to you as well. And, uh, And then I'll see you guys in the next video. Quote, the world is like a ride in an amusement park. And when you choose to go on it, you think it's real because that's how powerful our minds are. The ride goes up and down, around and around, and it has thrills and chills, and it's very brightly colored, and it's very loud, and it's fun for a while. Many people have been on the ride a long time, and they begin to wonder, hey, is this real, or is this just a ride? And other people have remembered, and they come back to us and say, hey, don't worry, don't be afraid, ever, because this is just a ride. And we kill those people. Shut him up. I've got a lot invested in this ride. Shut him up. Look at my furrows of worry. Look at my big bank account and my family. This has to be real. It's just a ride. But we always kill the good guys who try and tell us that. You ever notice that? and let the demons run amok. But it doesn't matter because it's just a ride and we can change it anytime we want. It's only a choice, no effort, no work, no job, no savings of money. Just a simple choice right now between fear and love. The eyes of fear want you to put bigger locks on your doors, buy guns, close yourself off. The eyes of love instead see all of us as one. Here's what we can do to change the world right now to a better ride. Take all that money we spend on weapons and defense each year and instead spend it feeding and clothing and educating the poor of the world, which we would pay for many times over, not one human being excluded, and we could explore space together, both inner and outer, forever.
in peace.